One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. <laughs> I want to first sing to now. <laughs> hey, Johnny? Yeah, Frank? You ever look at the clouds in the sky and think, I just want to chase that thing? Frank? Yeah, Johnny? I'm already dead. Oh. Does that mean I have to- I don't have to chase the cloud anymore? I didn't tell you how to do shit. And why did I say that? Because the guy saying this joke did not think very far into this opening bit. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Assassin's Creed Unity Let's Play. And I'm also using my headset again because, you know what, I just really like having a back that works. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so last time we left off, we met up with Elise and had some butt parties. Uh, we had no butt parties. I made f I, I complimented her on her butt, but she was like, Dude, fucking women, even when you compliment them, all, they're, all they say is fucking, Arno, stop looking at my butt, I'm getting attacked by people! Jesus, am I right, ladies? <laughs> uh, yeah. I still like to wonder that. If it seems like I'm pausing a little bit, that's because I I just came back from reading a whole bunch of uh, comments to articles, so my soul's a little dead. <laughs> because I just hate people now. Arno almost walked on water. He was jeez. He was jeez. You know jeez. I don't know if that video's up yet. Probably by this point. Everyone knows jeez. He's fucking Jesus. He's like, shut up, dick. That was, that was the joke. Anyway, let's go. We're gonna go a cautious alliance. Sounds cautious. Sounds like there's a possibility of dying. So, now we are meeting with Elise. Delacer, for those of you who don't remember, Elise is our butt buddy. And not really, because she's a Templar and we're, and we're an assassin. So, it's a little awkward. Also, for those of you that are saying, Arno looks different, I actually did a little uh, cash hunting off screen. And I look very magnificent, especially with that blue flower in the middle of my throat. Oh, well, that's usually how Templar Grandmasters go. I've seen him. Two years. Wait, wait. I'm not sure that's a good idea. No, okay, wait. No, wait. Okay, no, I was trying to I was trying to think of a I was trying to think of a plot hole, but I think it lines up, so it's fine. Oh, Arno's trying to convince Elise to come to the light side. Or maybe it's not the light side, maybe it's the dark side. Who knows what what uh what alliance is right in this day and age. That's actually kinda why I like Assassin's Creed, uh, as it is now, is because when it was before, I mean, the first Assassin's Creed had kind of the idea of this, where the Assassins and Templars, it's a board line of who's really right, who's doing the right thing, that kind of thing. And that's just life, as I said before in my Assassin's Creed 2 Let's Play. Um, but ever since the Ezio Saga, things have gotten way more defined. Like, the Templars are clearly extremely dicks. Um... And it kept going on further and further. Three, it kind of flip-flopped the two, but not in the best way. Whereas, it's hard to see if anyone was right at all, because Connor kind of went off in his own direction, and uh, all the Templars are like, Connor, what the fuck? We're supposed to... All right, whatever, kill me. I don't care. That's pretty much what it was. Four, Edward was hardly an assassin... And he was mostly... It wasn't really an Assassin Templar conflict. It's more of Edward finding righteousness. That kind of thing. So with Unity, I'm glad that they have this more blurred line. And this is totally gonna work. <laughs> These other Assassins are like, What the fuck? I didn't know I didn't know we could bring dates in here. We're not. We don't know why he's doing that. Oh, so we can't? Oh, shit. I wanted some poon time. No? Nope. Alright. Oh, Pierce pissed. Her for death. So Speaking of his pots. 
The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up. Well, they do. Not really smart what ones, but do? they do. My name is. For heaven's sake, <laughs> take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. <laughs> I like how Elise is even like. <laughs> Elise is like. I already know the way in here, Arno. You can just. <laughs> even Mirabo is like. Fuck it. Just. Take the blindfold. Arno, what the hell is wrong with you? Do we need to keep Pierre on you? You seem to be doing a lot of things by yourself. We must. And we will master And this is actually kind of why I like because. How do I say this? I despair for our future. I think the right way to say this is that these characters are dan dynamic. I think that's the best way to uh, put this because they all kind of had have their own idea. With the problem with other games with stories like this, all of the characters seem to form a conglomerate of like forward motion of oh we all do this, but with the, with with a uh, unity right here, there's there's many different main characters and side characters that are going off in their own directions and they all think they're going the right way like with uh like with the assassin brotherhood here they all want to just be assassins they want nothing to do with the templars they've always had conflict even with pierre here but mirabeau wants peace arno just wants to find revenge along with elise but elise doesn't want to go to the point where she wants to side with her enemies who clearly do not like the templars and have no uh and have no interest in sh in uh, sharing affiliation with them. So that's kind of why I like Unity a lot. The story is very fantastic because the characters kind of do their own thing, but it's still this conglomerate of characters in a story that feel important. I think that's the main point. Um, and that's actually kind of the thing with uh, AC Unity and AC Rogue. I am currently writing my AC Rogue review. The short answer is that it's not as good as Unity, um, but it's still decent, uh, and that's this is actually something that's even weirder. Is that um, AC Rogue's story? Because a lot of people said, "Oh, AC Rogue's story is clearly better than Unity's story." I actually want to di disagree with that because, despite AC Rogue, AC Rogue and AC Unity's uh, oh shit, plot tw pl plot twists coming up. Better wrap this up. So uh, AC Unity, AC Rogue's uh plots are almost opposite of each other with unity the setup is very simple very cliche uh you can kind of see a lot the uh, a lot of the twists and turns but the characters in the execution are perfect so the story is better on that end the problem with rogue is that despite its great setup and interesting plotline which is the uh templar perspective the characters felt a little flat and i'm gonna go into it more but uh elise would you like to there we go Alright, and I'm gonna go into it a little bit more, but there's currently plot twists going on, of which will will be necessary of knowing why the hell Elise is just blasting on, because we mentioned Jaman the silversmith. She's like, ah, sh wait, and she ran off, because fucking she can't tell me on the way. Why do women never tell me things? All the time, bitch, bitch be leaving clues, it's like, hey. Hey, what am I supposed to do now? And she's like, fucking not saying anything. I mean, she's dead, but still, give me a clue. <laughs> Come on, Elise, you are just... Well, I like following you from behind, so... <laughs> oh no, stop that! Ooh? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay. I'm not Ooh. Tired, but he should be dead. He died years ago. Ooh. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask. This him is where questions. we realize that the silversmith so that we met, uh, who constructed the weapon to take care of Monsieur de Lesser, um, may not be a smilders, smith, smith, silversmith, smilders, smith, the. <laughs> Whatever the hell I was gonna say. What was I gonna say? Someone back up that shit and play Empty. stuff. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, That's where his workshop was. Uh, well, I already wrapped up that point. Back to when I was when I opened the video, where I said, oh, "Man, you're really good at walking upstairs backwards, and I'm really good at shoving you off the stairs." I like shoving you into things. <laughs> um, sorry. At least doesn't show up too often, so I have to get the dick show because out while I can. <laughs> Whipping penises. Looks like no one's home. 
of course no one's home. Why is why is no one ever home? I'm really glad I don't have my tan booty shorts anymore. That was really distracting. Investigate the workshop. Don't Release. Tell me. What's up? It's a trap. Oh shit. I got this. I got this. I got this. I'm powered up now. You can't do shit against my blades. Oh! You thought that I didn't see that, but then I saw that. I deflected it, and then I kicked you in the crotch. Have a nice day. Fuck off. Dude. And boop. I love doing that. <laughs> Elise! Don't worry, I got this, Elise. Yeah, that was that was kinda gross actually. Anyway.